All right, so now we've got this navigation set up, uh, at least somewhat. Uh, we don't have the ability to add any any items yet, and I want to hold off on that because I want to I want to make this interface a little more interesting, and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to introduce uh, a neat uh, what we call widget inside of jQuery UI, which if you're not familiar yet, uh, jQuery and jQuery UI are, are two pieces um, of a puzzle. They're they're two separate entities. I mean they work together, but uh, they are they are two different entities. So the widget we want to take advantage of is called the sortable widget which is really cool but it's going to allow us to make a list and click and drag to resort this list which is going to make setting up our navigation really nice and you'll see this functionality in a lot of CMS's anyways so let's take a look at that widget here so if you're at the jQueryUI.com site and if you go to slash sortable this is what you're going to see and here's the most basic example of it here and you can see we're just sorting here now this this is a uh, totally temporary uh, as far as the fact that it's being done on the page but if we refreshed obviously these numbers would grow right back in order because there's no database there's no the data is not being stored so that's something that we'll have to do as well utilizing some Ajax so if you can kind of picture this saying you know home about us contact us etc and we can just say okay well I want that to be down at the end or in, in our case, you know, at the end of the uh, menu over here on the right, and um, and I, just, I think that's a lot easier. It's a lot better than putting in uh, the position number like we have it set up now, which I can get a little irritating. We're still going to be utilizing that position number. We're just going to let the sortable adjust those numbers for us. So let's really quick take a look at what uh, is all involved here. If we click on View Source, uh, it's pretty simple we create a list and some list items and at the very minimal all we need to do is give that list an ID and then run this sortable widget and as long as the selector points to this ID then boom we're done so let's set that up really quick uh, in in our navigation setup here that we've already made we're gonna change this up a little bit I'm gonna leave what's here uh, still up but in the meantime, we're going to set up a side panel here, so it's similar to what we have over here for pages. So we're just going to have this sidebar here. So click back over in navigation, then hop over to Aptana and go into your admin folder. Open up the views folder, then open up navigation.php. And let's simply just put an extra column here. So we'll give ourselves some space after the row. Do div class and we'll just do column medium and uh, I don't remember offhand I think we're doing f let me take a look at pages here three so I'll make that three then close that and then we need to make sure that we offset that number down here so this should be nine save that and let's go ahead and just create a list really quick so ul and inside there we'll make some list items this is going to just be kind of a temporary setup to see this thing in action li and then we'll just call this item one and let's just copy this a couple times now, obviously, you could have copied and pasted from the jQuery UI website as well. Uh, however, we're going to change a little bit of that. So let's clean this up. Now we need to give this UL an ID. So we'll do ID equals and in quotes here. Let's call this sort nav. So save that. up save we'll go over to the page just make sure our columns are set up correct all right they are so now we're ready to apply the sortable widget